I just wanted to touch on ventilation versus oxygen and what the difference is. So just a reminder that ventilation is the movement of air in and out of the lungs. This is all about CO2 removal and we know that CO2 is bad for us when we have too much of it. This is all in relation to how well our patients are breathing. And this is measured through end title or capnography. So in your departments, which you should all have, is a device that can deliver oxygen while monitoring capnography, which is a separate piece that goes into a device and you can see the waveform. Or it's measured through end title, which is a little device that can be on our bag valve mask when we are bagging. If this turns gold, gold is good, purple is poor. So we have a poor ventilation if this is poor. We want it to turn gold. Remember that oxygenation is how well oxygen moves from the lungs into the blood. It's all about O2 delivery, which is oxygen here. It could be a mask, it could be nasal prongs, and that is how well our O2 delivery and how well our blood is carrying the oxygen, and that's measured through a pulse oximetry. So we can have good oxygenation, but poor ventilation. That's like in COPD or an overdose. So which we want, and we want to monitor both. So we do watch it and we can do that with, again, our capnography if we are giving oxygen or if we're monitoring it with a CO2 monitor as well. So remember, one tells us how we're breathing and the other one tells us how we're oxygenating.